Today we're going to break down Nikon's latest recall. Around November or December of 2014, photographers started to realize that there was an issue with their D750s. In January of 2015, Nikon started the process of recalling. They took down their D750 inventory across all stores. They brought it back to Nikon to fix the issue. At the time, they thought the only cameras affected were those that were built in October and November of 2014. All the cameras that they took off the shelves they would supposedly fix, they then took a little black dot and put it right in the tripod socket so that you would know that that was a fixed version of the D750. Unfortunately, in February of 2016, they realized that they weren't all fixed. Not even close. That's when they realized the error in their manufacturing process went way past October and November. In fact, it went through December, January, February, March, April, May, and all the way to June 2015. So they put out another recall, this time to fix the cameras that were built in October and November of 2014, like before, but they added December of 14, and then January to June of 2015. Fast forward to July of 2017, and they've issued another recall. This time the recall is much larger. This time they've decided the D750s built all the way back to July of 2014, all the way through September, and then into their original recall date. We're no good. In addition to tapping three months onto the front end of the recall, they also added a bunch of months at the end. Nikon's figured out that all D750s from July of 15 all the way through the end of 15 into 16, 16, 16, March, April, May, June, July, August, and September, those are all no good. I take that back. No good's probably a little strong. Even if your D750 was built in that time frame, it's very likely you'll never see an issue and it'll be perfectly fine. It's very, very simple to check to see if your D750 needs service. You just go to their website and I'll have a link below. You plug in your serial number and it'll tell you whether or not your camera needs worked on. Just earlier today, I put in the serial number on my D750 and luckily it did not need service. I will say, just because they said mine didn't need service, I'm a little nervous. They've now put three recalls out for the same camera with very, very similar issues, so what's to say they won't put out a fourth? Earlier I mentioned during the original recall, they would put a little black dot in the tripod socket when it was fixed. Considering they've done a couple recalls since, if I had one of those cameras, I wouldn't be 100% convinced that they fixed the issue, so I would put a lot of thought into sending it in. So the good and the bad. Obviously the bad is that it's a recall. Recalls are never good, especially when it's happened multiple times on the same camera body. But if you want to look at it a little more glass half full, at least Nikon's admitting their issue and they're going out there and they're trying to fix the problem. At least they're not sweeping the problem under the rug, hoping nobody says anything, denying that it's their fault. They're taking responsibility and they're trying to fix the issue. So that's good. If your camera is on the recall list, from what I've read online, it'll take three weeks to a month for them to fix the issue from the time you send it in to the time you get it back. That's not bad, that's actually fairly quick, but if you're either a professional photographer or if it's your only camera body or you're just a hobbyist, it's hard to go without a camera for a month. So personally what I would do is I would just keep going with the camera and if an issue comes up or if you can find time in your schedule where you won't really be needing it or you won't be shooting with it for about a month or so, then I would send it in. There's a very good chance your camera will never see an issue at all and you can act like none of this ever happened. If you have any questions about the D750, the recall, or anything else camera related, you can comment below or you can message me. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.